Ladies and gentlemen, it is your lovely host here. It is Team Rai Rai. How's everyone doing? And it's Thursday's edition. And also, Happy Thanksgiving to everyone around the world. If you celebrate it, Thanksgiving, leave a comment down below. Now it is time to get the video started. And I will discuss for you wrestling news, wrestling epics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. Now if you like, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, grab some drink. Now if you don't do it like that, maybe you want to chill like a villain and hear my lovely thoughts, my opinions, and a subject. And of course, the article will be down below. Let's rock around. Now, what do you guys prefer? Shawn Michaels performing in front of a huge crowd or behind the scenes? I'm just wondering. Now, he did great things for the fans. He had his last match at Crown Jewel. What was it last year? It should have just been at Mania, but I guess he turned down the opportunity to face AJ Styles. I think that was just a rumor. And, you know, now he's doing good things for behind the scenes with NXT. You know, recently just saw him part of the Savashri's invasion with him, with uh, NXT and Vinny Raw and um, SmackDown and the ratings when skyrocketed for each brand. Now, Sebastian is out of, out of the picture. Now they're going to concentrate on the next pay-per-view is TLC. Now, the ratings will go down more and more because W is not pushing it, the envelope, you know? Probably the next thing we'll see, the NXT, maybe it will be part of the Royal Rumble. Who knows? Okay, let me discuss this. I'd rather stay behind the scenes and let the stars of tomorrow take their rightful place. That's a good answer, HBK. My time has come and gone. I totally agree. I wish a lot of these older wrestlers feel the same way, but they always want to be on TV, always want a freaking spotlight. Like Ric Flair, okay? Not that long ago, he's with his lovely pain in the butt, in my opinion, Charlotte Flair. You know, she he's not competing, but he's there with her side. So eventually that fizzled out because his his health and though he had not brought him back on TV. Thank God, you know? Let him do his own thing, you know? We don't need them on TV. I know to boost up the ratings, but face facts. Let the young guys take over and all that other stuff, you know? I just don't like Charlotte Flair. She's very, very annoying. I know she's a good athlete, but I guarantee you she's going to be the longest uh, women's champion, you know, the reign, you know? And I don't like that. I know she's a hard worker, but still. I wonder if she kisses McMahon's ass. Maybe... Maybe not just like Brock Lesnar. Anyway, let me know what you think about this whole entire article. I know this Sunday is W um Star K, but it's not really it does not really feel like a freaking pay per view. I mentioned what yesterday or the day before. It is a live event turn into a special event on a network. You know what I'm saying? If it if it was a W pay per view they will book this on a W calendar like months ago, and then people will buy tickets for this damn thing. That's how I will visualize it. But WWE does not give a crap about these pay per views or special events because technically there are, used to be WCW used to own them, and then W owners they bought the rights for the whole entire company, you know. I wish they used Hollywood Havoc as an Ashley pay-per-view, not these stupid uh, live events, and to them, turn into them a special event. You know what I'm saying? I like Hollywood Havoc. It was a good tradition. I guarantee if they bring it back for a pay-per-view on the list, it, it'd be dog crap because they don't know how to use it correctly. So what's your thoughts? 
You know, I mean, I think HBK looks like it looked like in great shape, but his time has gone a long time ago. But if McMahon offered them a lot of money to appear or compete, meaning I guaranteed HBK would not turn it down, or maybe he will. Like the time that uh, have you guys seen the latest of Austin podcast and. Well, not a podcast, but it was an interview on W Network and his special guest with the new season. It was Stone Cold. I mean, I'm sorry. It was it was the Undertaker, and he says at that WrestleMania 33, it must be his last one. And of course, McMahon offered him probably lots more money to appear for the following Mania, and that would be a good sign off. You know, his trench coat and his hat. In a square circle and just walk into the sunset. So now W screwed it all up because McMahon wants to take her, keep wrestling until he can't wrestle anymore. That wraps it up, you know. So I think it has been 30 years already since he debuted at that um, Survivor Series. Is that nuts? Wow, 30 years in the making. He needs to hang it up. Take her, just say no, and McMahon, okay. It's not that hard to say no to him. He'll get over it. Everyone out there, I'll be back tonight. The article will be done below. My other social media accounts will be done below also. Peace out.